Hey guys, welcome to Algos Explained. I'm David Kim, and today we're going to go over an algorithm question that has to do with going through an object. Uh, this is in JavaScript. And before we get started, you know, um, if you'd like to see other videos done, uh, if you have specific problems that you'd like to see explained, uh, then go ahead and email me at algosexplained at gmail.com or put them in the comments. I'm usually uh, on YouTube, so I, I try to respond as soon as possible. And so, okay, let's go ahead and get started. This is um, this question. We're going to call it uh, calculate grade. And what's going to happen is our input is going to be an object of test scores, and the output is going to be at the average grade. And so, the example, or you always want to ask for example if they don't provide it for you. And uh, a sample input looks like this: test one, test two, test three, test four. These don't really matter. Uh, what what it says over here. Uh, we just really care about the scores and how many there are. And the output is going to look something like this. Pretty much we're going to get the average and uh, this is kind of what they're going to be getting in the class. And so if you have a good idea of what the input looks like and what they want for the output and you're not confused on it at all, uh, I would say then go to the next step, which is thinking about your solution. If you're kind of still hesitant on whether you understand exactly what they want you to do, um, you could ask them to repeat the question, repeat the objective, or you could ask for another another in or another example as you do that. Um, definitely, I think once you once you're given the problem, if you don't really understand uh, what they want from you, then if you just go to the next step trying to figure out a solution, you're just gonna first of all you're not gonna be able to um, really determine the edge cases, which is a huge plus if you do. And uh, you might be going totally in a totally different direction or the wrong direction, and definitely you definitely don't want to do that. Um, thankfully, our question is pretty simple. Uh, hopefully, you guys all get the idea of what's going on here. We have test scores and we have the output. So, what's our game plan? Um, well, we know that pretty much uh, in the in the objective, it kind of tells it. As long as you know what average is, and if if you don't know what average is, um, ask them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, they might be kind of, uh, they might be kind of like, why don't you know what average is, but whatever. Uh, average is pretty much um, a sum of kind of whatever your scores are divided by how many times it occurs. And so by, by our output being average grade, we already kind of know, okay, well, we don't really care about the test names. We just care about the scores. We care about how many, how many test, tests there were and kind of the sum of that. And so that is pretty much exactly our... Uh, what we're going to be working with, we're going to be working with the test scores. We're going to be working with a sum of the test scores, and we're going to be working with the number of tests there are. And so, if we go over to our code here, um, we can see here uh, that we're taking scores as our input. This is an object, and we know for sure right now that we're going to have to uh, later calculate the average, which means we're going to have to get a sum, and we're going to have to have a number. Pretty much, what we're going to have to divide by the divisor. What not, and so we're going to we're going to create those variables at the very top here, where we're going to call the sum sum, and we're going to call the number of tests num tests. Right now we start off at zero. Um, you might be wary of uh, whether you want to start these off as a specific number or not. Sometimes when you're comparing numbers, you don't want to start off at zero because there might be a case where a comparison is lower than zero, something like that. In our case, we're just um, we're just adding stuff up. We're, we're getting the average pretty much. So we don't really care about uh, going below zero. It's never going to go below zero. And uh, our teacher is nice. She's not going to give us negative scores. She, he or she, they're not going to give us negative scores. So um, yeah, and even if they did, that wouldn't be a problem anyways. Because you don't start with a negative. That would be really bad if you start the class with a negative. Anyways, we start these off at zero. And we're going to go through here. This is our next step. We're going to parse through. The object and so our object looks something like this we just have to hit each and every one of these and as we get to each and every one um, we have to add the sum add that score to the sum and kind of tally up the number of tests we've seen and so we do that exactly like this this is kind of the format to go through an object uh, for let you might have seen the format let key in object or var key in object um, pretty much this is the key we're going to call our key score and the object's name is scores. And so pretty much once we hit uh, any, any number, any number of tests on here, uh, we're going to immediately do 
we're going to immediately increment num test because we know okay we have, we we are at a test whether the whether or not the score is good or not we are at a test and so we increment the test by one and yeah we're not incrementing it by any other number because every number every test just counts for one test uh, we go down here sum is going to be the sum of the scores and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, tap into score the scores object by uh, doing this bracket score and so that's the object that's the key and by doing this we kind of get what the value is if you do um, score score uh, this test one right now if we're iterating through it test one is kind of represented by the variable score um, you could also call that key these don't really matter this does matter because that that determines which object you're going through so that's just the variable score score that's going to go to test one and this format right here that's going to give you the value that's going to give you 80 and so you're going to do sum plus equals 80 and as you iterate through all of these your total sum is going to increment by the score and uh, the num test is going to increment by one which is exactly what we want to do so when we get down here if you haven't asked the question of how do you want this uh, grade to appear um, do you want decimals do you not want decimals uh, maybe that's the question you want to ask before, uh, but if you get to this point and you haven't asked it yet, ask it because uh, you know you want to give them what they want, right? And so for this question right now, we're going to want a, a rounded score. So pretty much what we're going to have to do is this is the average going on right here. You take the sum divided by the number of tests, and you get um, some number. If you had if you had these numbers here, you're gonna you're gonna get a clean 85. But say you have some decimals, all you need to do is do math.round and you're going to get those. If you want, if say the teacher wanted their own decimals, maybe they have some kind of uh, unique way of rounding. Uh, say, you know, maybe they're willing to do like a 0.3%, they're willing to round that up, maybe because they're super nice. Or maybe they want everything below a 0.8 to be rounded down. Uh, maybe they, so maybe they want to see those decimals themselves. Uh, what you want to do is pretty much something like this. Um, there are there are different there are, uh, again there are different ways to round numbers but this is just one of the many ways. Right here you're doing the sum again, which is going to give you um, a number with all the decimals if there are decimals. Uh, of course, like in, in a case like this, it has no decimals and it's still okay to throw it into something like this because it'll just come out clean clean like it is here. But if it does have decimals, you can decide you know how many decimals you want, and you do that by the two fix. Uh, one thing about the dot two fix uh, method is that it returns you a string, and therefore you need to parse float it, and um, that's capital F. You don't want to parse int it because that'll just uh, it'll pretty much math not round it again. Pretty much if you parse int it, whatever decimals you had, it'll get rid of it. And the whole point of kind of doing this little step here, if they wanted decimals, was to keep the decimals. And so how do you take a string? With, uh, with decimals and change it to a number with decimals, you use parse float. And so that's kind of, um, so that, that's if they wanted the decimals, this is if they didn't. And I think, uh, I guess the next step would be, say you solve this question, go over it with an example. Say you create an example yourself. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call our scores and we're just gonna do, we're gonna have numbers on this side too. We're gonna do like, uh, like 70, 2, we're going to do 100, we're going to do 3, um, 90. And pretty much what's going to happen. So we're going to walk through it. Sum is 0, num test is 0. Num test, 0. And you're going to walk through this. Uh, you're going to say, okay, Score, score. First, it's going to go to the one, and it's going to, well, it's going to increment num test. So this becomes one, and sum plus equals the 70. So this becomes a 70. And you go to the next one, now you're here at the two. Now you're just here. Now you're at the two. Num test gets incremented, so that's two now. Sum plus equals uh, score, score. So you're tapping into this value, and so now that becomes 170. And now, and then you go to the next one, it's a, you're at the three now. And so num test gets incremented. You're at the third test, you've seen three tests. And sum gets incremented by 90. And so that becomes a 260.
And so pretty much now you have these two numbers here, sum and num test, math.rounding, the sum over the three. Um, what is that? I'm not good at math. But at that point, uh, I think you've proven, you've walked through the logic. Um, and your code does work. And so maybe another step they might take with this question is giving you another object. What if they gave you two objects? And the second object was kind of a rubric of percentages. Say like uh, they had a, an object of like A, B, C, D, and here they gave you a number range. That wouldn't be too far from what we did here. Pretty much the same idea would be you have to parse through that second object and um, kind of compare it to whatever answer you have right now. And so, yeah, we're not gonna go over that, but hopefully uh, you understood what I just said. If they give you a second object, and they wanted like a, a letter grade from you. And the second object had the letter grade and kind of the range. It wouldn't be too hard. All you have to do is parse through the second object. Once you had a hold of this, maybe you'd probably want to put that in a variable. And then as you're parsing through the, the rubric, kind of once you drop in the right range, then you, you spit out the, the key, which would have been the letter grade. And so, so yeah, that was Calculate Grade. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, leave me some comments about some other questions you'd like to see. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.